Good evening, folks. We're going to hit a very critical aspect of how the sun impacts the whole atmosphere today. But first, we have to learn what a four-bush decrease is. Cosmic rays from the galaxy are pounding every square inch of our upper atmosphere every second, breaking out into particle cascades, overlapping and interlacing. We live in a soup of these cosmic ray breakout cascades. But there are times when they get blocked out to a significant degree. And this is when the sun sends out a big blast of plasma called a coronal mass ejection, often because of a solar flare. These coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are electromagnetically charged particles and contain powerful magnetic fields. So they present a very challenging thing to penetrate for those charged particles called cosmic rays. While the sun's CMEs are blasting out and sometimes engulfing our planet Earth, they shield out other electromagnetically charged particles, the cosmic rays. When this happens at our Earth and our planet is cocooned inside one of those solar plasma clouds, we see a significant drop in those cosmic rays. That is what a four-bush decrease is, a decrease in the cosmic rays due to a CME that erupted from the sun and arrived at the Earth. So what is the effect of these four-bush decreases, these CME impacts to our planet, on the global electric circuit? That was the focus of this morning's article, the CME impact effect on the atmospheric electricity. To review, the circuit goes from the ground up to the ionosphere, with flows in both directions, up and down. It comes down in fair weather, high pressure, and shoots back up in low pressure cells. There is a 250,000 volt differential between the ground and the top of the sky, the ionosphere. We have seen the effect of solar flares on these processes several times, including just a couple weeks ago, both in observed solar storm effects in real time and in the scientific literature. In fact, we have seen the impact to atmospheric electricity from solar flares many times over the years. This was one of the best papers from seven years ago. But today, we were talking about the CME impact to Earth rather than the solar flare. And this pre-release from the upcoming EGU General Assembly next month confirms that the CMEs compress Earth's magnetic field and push charged particles downward into the atmosphere from both the solar wind and the Van Allen belts. This has a direct and immediate impact on the downward electric current in the fair weather high pressure system. And this makes complete sense. The ionosphere gets juiced up as its role in the capacitor layer. It then transfers down into the fair weather high pressure cells. It reaches the ground, spins out with the water vapor in the wind, and is gathered and returned upward in the low pressure cells. This is a critical way that the solar storms impact every aspect of the atmosphere. To learn more, check out the resource videos below. Those impacts throughout the atmosphere are well known and include literally everything involving the weather. And for our regular viewers, yes, this is going to get more and more amplified as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.